This is <laughs> no, this is Inua, Ellen, uh, uh, this writer. Is, this is not your fault, director. I was being direct either. You, I went first. You, you were directing me in that? What do you mean? Do you want to do it again? No. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> what is it like to work with me? It's like working. Please, I don't want this to sound okay, patronising, but there's a lot of love. Mm -hmm. But it's like working with my little brother. Okay. Um, because I feel that we've got a really good relationship in which I can just snap at you. Yeah. At, or sometimes <laughs> you snap at me yeah. and then we make up. And it's all because, and the reason we make up, I think, is because it's all for the greater good. Yeah. Like we want the play to be amazing and, you know, arrest the audience yeah. and and the the more we work together the more we realize we're on the same page yeah in the heat of the moment and an argument i always realize that that is your prime objective is to make the play as good and as brilliant and as honorable of all the things we're trying to do as possible but i think one of the reasons i like working with you is because you are one of the most mischievous people i've ever met which is saying a lot but there is a primal vengeance in you and a doggedness to get it right at all costs and your wit is sharp and just seeing you laser into things and just drop a joke in the middle of the most heated moment and then like it's it's how i think it's, it's just like that so i trust that we have popcorn brains yeah popcorn brains definitely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> I hear the crazy thing with the National Theatre. When I was performing the 14th tale here, someone saw the name Ellums. This was around 2010. And it was a white British man who had fought in the war with my uncle. Oh. And my uncle had left and he didn't know where it was, but he recognized the name Ellums and left, left a letter for me, which I then passed to my uncle. The last time I saw my uncle was during the war. That was it. Wow. Yeah, madness. So what's it like um, working with this cast and how do you get the best out of them? How are you trying to do that? What I love doing at the beginning of rehearsal with the cast, and I think that, that we sort of met at that point, was doing improvisations. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we're academically talking about war, but actually these people are going through it. We're in fear of it happening, and then it arrives around their yeah. feet. And so we did improvisations of war. Mm. We did improvisations of PTSD and trauma during what you might see in a war. We watched a terrible, well, a wonderful documentary uh, about Aleppo and, mm. and that, that very present uh, conflict at the moment. And it's an incredible cast, you know. It, it's quite a young cast, mm. don't you feel? Yeah. And actually, I think traditionally, it would have been cast with older people. But actually, what's incredible when you watch the footage of the war is how young people yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you do classic plays, people come in and the first read through, they've got their performance. Mm. We are not in that world. We yeah. are making it from the ground up. And that's exciting and scary at the same time. It's evocative of the spirit of the world we're trying, trying to conjure, having these actors who aren't polished, trying to recreate this world which wasn't polished, mm. which was one of the reasons why it imploded, why Biafra failed. <laughs>